Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to make cheesecake. So let's see how to make a very quick, easy and simple cheesecake. It's not at all difficult. Anybody who loves cheesecake, cheese will like this recipe. We need a very few ingredients for this. So let's get started. We need strawberries, soft cheese, melted butter, biscuits, vanilla essence, sugar, whipping cream, baking tray, blender, two bowls. So I have taken a couple of biscuits and I have put it in a food bag. Now if you have a food processor, you can easily um, crush them and powder it. Uh, now I'm going to use my rolling pin to crush it and then crush them, powder them really well. How much thick you want the crust to be, you can use as many biscuits as you wish. It doesn't have to be malted biscuit that I have taken, you can use digestive biscuits as well. Now I'm going to pour some melted butter. I have taken tablespoon, now if you're taking teaspoon, just go for 10 to 11 teaspoons of melted butter. And now I'm going to mix the butter and the biscuits. Now if you want it to be really sugary, you can add some more sugar to it. And then don't make it as a paste or something, just make it a um, little wet. That's the consistency we want. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to spread it onto the bottom of the tin. Um, I've got a lid of a bottle and I'm going to spread it. Now it depends on how thick you want the crust to be. Uh, I'm just layering it in the bottom and also a bit to the sides. Now I'm going to bake it for 8 to 10 minutes in 180 degree in the oven. Now I'm going to add cheese, I'm going to add 600 gram of cheese, one box has 200 grams in it. It's always a good idea to keep the cheese aside outside the refrigerator for some time before we start whisking it to soften it. Now I'm going to whisk it nicely, blend it, soften it and then I'm going to add the sugar and the cream to it. Now. Time to add sugar. I kept on whisking it. So whisk it really nicely and then I add cream. You can add a sour cream or double cream, whichever cream available. I'm using whipping cream itself. That was the only thing available for me that time. So the tip to use the cream is do not use the cream in one go. Just add the cream bit by bit. Otherwise you may end up in a very loose consistency. Now I'm adding vanilla extract. Again whisking it nicely the final whisk so around 5 to 10 minutes I whisked now I'm adding all the cream creamy creamy cheesy batter to my tin now with the help of the spatula I have made the cheesecake given it a very smooth surface and I'm tapping it so that all the air bubbles will escape and we will get a very smooth consistency now I'm going to keep it in the oven for one hour 180 degree. Before I keep it, I have put the cheesecake in a tray with water so that it will keep my cheesecake moist. And uh, now one hour is over. Now I'm going to keep it again in the oven for one more hour, cool it down, switching off the oven. Or you can also prop it open with a wooden spoon, but make sure that the oven is off so that you know we will slowly cool down the cheesecake. Now I've taken it out. Now I'm going to run a knife around the edge of the cake. Make sure the cake is really cooled. 
and ready to be refrigerated. I'm going to slowly open the tin and gently push the tin down. Okay, so it's all done. It's a bit of a, you know, nerve-wracking moment that one, you know, whether if it gets stuck to the base or to the sides, then it has come out really nice. Then it has come out really nicely. Now I'm going to refrigerate the cake. I'm going to put a bowl and then I'm going to refrigerate it for six hours. You can even keep it for three days so that you will get a well set cheesecake. But make sure that before you serve, you take it a couple of hours before and keep it outside so that it will be nicely soft. And now I'm going to garnish it with strawberries. So I have cut the strawberries into two and I'm just making a very simple design around the edge of the cake. You can garnish according to your aesthetic sense. You can create designs. I've kept a simple rows. You can also use whipping cream on top to give designs. I hope you liked it. Now I'm going to cut and eat myself and see how it has come out. So well, it looks like it's nicely done. So just waiting to see how it tastes. Also, I have made um, strawberry syrup, which I'm going to pour on top. So, I'm going to taste it now. It has come out exactly the way I wanted. If you are a cheese lover, please do try it at home. Uh, you don't have to stick to strawberries, you can use some other fruits like pineapple or mangoes. It's entirely up to your choice. Uh, and after making it, just let me know through the comments how it came out. Also, if you have liked this recipe, please do hit the like button and also share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet next time. Bye for now.